Moving at speeds up to five knots, one of the strongest ocean currents in the world runs off the coast of Florida. For as long as I can remember, I dreamed about crossing it and exploring the Bohemian Archipelago. The closest island to the U.S. is Bimini, which sits about 50 miles off the coast of Miami. In good conditions, you can make it in a couple hours. Most people choose to do it on 20-foot plus boats, but a select few take jet skis. We set out from Ohio, drove our skis down to Florida, and took off on a two-week adventure. All right, about uh, 10.30 Sunday night, we're about three hours from Miami. Um, just heard a little weird noise while going down 75, and uh, looks like we blew a bearing. And uh, we're taking it off right now. All right, we got a car moving and so try to get some shy. <laughs> Absolutely sweaty. That was a horrible experience in Mims, Florida. We've been here since 10.30 at night, and now it's 10.30 in the morning. A nice 12 hour stop because we can never have a trailer break when stores are open. Dude, I'm trying to get KFC nuts. Lots of stuff here. Oh, wow. It's about 6 a.m. And uh, got all our electronics fully charged. Today's a big day. 6.15. Ready to go. We are at the boat ramp. Everything is fully packed, fully secured. On way to Bimini. Hey, Sergey, this is pretty cool. Over. Bimini. All right, we're in the back of the skis. Got the gas, the cooler, the wakeboard. Sergey's stashed up there. We're gonna ride around the harbor here, check out the ocean, see how the seas are, and uh, if it looks good, next stop, Bimini. Wow, look at this hairdo. The seas are unbelievably flat today, about three miles out. We're making the journey. Beautiful day. Right now, right? Uh, eight miles out and Sergey jumped in to take a piss. Oh man, Bahamas baby, yeah. Just made it to the Bahamas. Yeah, we did. At customs now. About to go ahead. Oh, there's CJ Shack, the beach, and the beach again. It's like a two road town. Oh, just made it through customs. Cheers. Bahamian beer. It's okay. You feeling good? Oh, yeah, man. Oh, yeah, man. Wow, Drew, you see this island? Yeah. What is that on it? Lighthouse. I think we need to check that out. We're in Bimini. This is a random uninhabited island in South Bimini. The island's probably two, three miles that way. And uh, we're looking for a place to stay that's uh, out of sight. Oh, shit. What's up there? Not totally sure. I think the steel is just there to hold the concrete, but I doubt it. I wouldn't do it. Yeah. Someday, if we had a rope, 
It'd be nice if we could hook on to that, but we didn't come prepared enough for that. It's starting to get a little darker out. Uh, we need to find a spot where we can actually take off the coolers. Here, we're dealing with metal, it's deep. We're worried about trying to put them back on. Coral's over here, so we gotta find some sand. We think there's sand on the back side. Well, every single time we try to get close to a cooler, our friend Sam, the Stingray, decides to visit. Oh, it's coming back. You get so freaking close, he wants my toes. Wow. <laughs> so we're not exactly sure what we're gonna do here. It's late at night, we're finally finishing up. What are we eating here? And it's time for dinner. Anything with a pool tab, it's probably gonna be some sort of soup. Dang. Anything without a pull tab is probably beans or corn. All right. And I couldn't find any of the Chef Boy idea, which is whole number can. So, working what we got. Good morning. out from Iguana Island. Got everything packed up and uh, it's about nine o'clock and we're heading to Chub K. Oh, There's a shark. We're going on this boat over here. We just came across. What is this? Plane. As you can see, we are literally standing on the wing. You can see the propeller right there. Where do you think the uh, cockpit was? I wonder if that's what is right in front of you. Or if the cockpit's in the middle and just totally gone away. I feel like the cockpit might be that thing right there. You hear that? Oh, yeah. Huge storm mounting right now. Yeah, how deep is it? What? How deep? Well, we're about four or five miles from Bimini. You can kind of see it behind me. Um, unbelievable water. It's like seven feet deep everywhere. Just barely could touch. Um, and we're taking a break to swim because it looks like a uh, pop-up thunderstorm is uh, blocking our track right now. And so we're gonna head back to Bimini, do some wakeboarding and some swimming around there. Night two on Lighthouse Island. I got Sergey over here. What is this? We got a strap and a strap and a whole lot of coconuts. This is the ladder to free coconut milk and jelly for breakfast. All right, it is 8.30 in the Bahamas on Iguana Island. I am in the top of a palm tree. I have climbed all the way up here with ratchet straps, one by one, undoing the one, two below. And I just got six coconuts down for breakfast. One, two.
All right, uh, got new sunglasses this time. Um, on our way to Chub K, about 30 miles off the coast of Bimini. Sitting tight for a second. As you can tell, we got a big thunderstorm behind me. Um, not sure where it's going. Not sure if we're gonna head back. So we're just hanging loose. Well, we are 35 miles into the 90 mile stretch to Chub K. Everything is going pretty good. I just got a light saying my ski oil is hot. Not exactly sure what that means. Um, it's still running okay, but we're just gonna head back because I wanna be safe. It is a miracle we found this. There's no anchor. Now we're heading back. All hand built. Wow. Everything in here came from the sea. Oh, it's the morning of the 4th of July. We're doing some jet ski maintenance. Sergey had a, uh, a loose hose clamp on the air intake. My jet ski is uh, very low on oil. Also, <laughs> lost or broke the third pair of sunglasses in this trip last night. So, no sunglasses anymore. And I'm not going to buy a new pair either. So, we're on the roof of our Airbnb. There's the harbor right behind us. There's the beach. This is all of Bimini. Very thin island. Yep. All right, well, after a long morning of having the runs, we are leaving Bimini. Got the sharks in the water. Beautiful, clear day. Just talked to some people who got back. Uh, they just came in from Miami, said it was super flat out. So we are about to head back. Dang it, I just got seaweed in. Amazing sea conditions today, absolutely flat. 30 miles, actually 29 miles from Miami Beach right now. Um, and I don't know if you can see this, but there is so much seaweed on the top of the water. And this is our third stop. Sergey's putting on the goggles. He's gonna go yank it out for us. All good? That's a no.